Explain your generative AI project. This is a very common question which interviewer will surely ask you in a generative AI based interview. This question generally comes within the first 10 to 15 minutes of your interview. And if interviewer asks you these questions, then you know that the ball is in your court where you have all the answers ready because you have well prepared yourself for this question. As you know that the first impression is the last impression. So this question is a golden opportunity for you to impress the interviewer and generally within the first few minutes of the interview the interviewer makes up their mind whether they will go for this candidate or not so here in this video i will tell you how you can explain your project especially for the generative ai both for freshers and for experienced candidates i will tell you the answers how will you explain about your generative ai project before starting, let us give a short introduction about myself. Welcome to AD Academy. The main motto of this channel is AI for Am Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. If you are a fresher, then your answer should reflect First, the learning process, second, the technical understanding, and third, the practical implementation. First of all, you have to clearly state the objective of your project. Let me give an example. The goal of my project was to generate realistic text responses for customer support using a fine-tuned GPT model. Second is you have to explain clearly the problem statement which you aim to solve and why that skill or that problem statement and why that problem statement is I always explain with example. So the example in this case is many customer queries lacked automated handling leading to delays and inefficiency. The third thing which you explain is the tools and the techniques where your technical expertise will get highlighted. So you can mention what framework you have used, what model you have used and what data set you have used. Let me give an example how you can frame your answer. You can say, I used Python, Hugging Face Transformer library and fine-tuned the OpenAI's GPT-3 on a custom dataset of customer support transcript. And then you have to explain the implementation steps. So you have to outline briefly what are the steps you have followed. First is the data collection and the data preparation. So it means from where you have collected the data, it can be an open source. You can collect the data from Kaggle or from some other sources in internet and then how you have processed the data. Data processing is an important step because the raw data which you will get cannot be directly fed into an AI model. So you have to process the data which is an important step. Then second is the model fine tuning. If you get a large language model from internet or from Hugging Face or from some other platform, then you have to do model fine tuning to get your model aligned with your specific use case. You have to highlight a challenge which you have faced and how you have overcome it. Say for example, you can say like this, like handling imbalanced data set was a challenge. And so I use data augmentation technique to improve my model performance. Now you have to focus on the results which you have achieved. You have to show the achievement which you have acquired in your project. So you have to focus on the measurable outcomes, even if it is a kind of proof of concept. Let me give you an example because examples are the best things by which you can easily explain something to interviewer. The model achieved 85% accuracy in generating contextually relevant and last but not the least you have to explain that what are the learnings which you have got from your project and what is its impact. So first you have to mention that what are the points which you have learned by doing this project and then you have to mention like how this project prepared yourself for the futures where you will work in the generative AI in that company. Then there is a problem because interviewer wants somebody who is already experienced, who has already the knowledge and the experience in this field. They need industry experience but for freshers the problem is that they are freshers. How can they get some experience but then your answer can be in a way so that interviewer knows yes you have experience by implementing some projects though you don't have direct experience from industry but you have for experienced candidate it is easy for them because they have already implemented some techniques of generative ai or some gener or some 
data science so in that case they can reflect their answers from the past experience which they have already have in their career their answer should reflect the business impact the technical depth and the leadership roles so you have to give an overview of the project which you have already did in one of your company because the first of all you have to see in which company you are applying it can be in the healthcare domain it can be in the telecom domain domain or it can be in finance domain so align your answers and explain your projects aligned to that particular field in which you are applying if it is a telecom or if it is a healthcare based company then explain some projects which you have did in that domain that will be very good for the interviewer to gauge how skilled and how much experience you have in that field so start with a high level overview and its significance let me give you an example i led the development of a generative ai model to automate language translation for a financial application reducing the processing time by 50% so here you are also mentioning the impact which you have brought you have to clearly connect to the problem to the business outcome again let me give you an example manual language translation was slow and error prone automating this with a generative ai model streamlines the workflow and saved few thousands dollars annually you can highlight your answers by using the tools and the techniques which you have used in your project and this is the portion where you can tell about your expertise domain about your knowledge on the technical side you can dive into the model selection the architecture and the deployment let me give an example and always examples are the best by which you can clearly make your interview understand used a fine tuned bard based encoder and decoder model for your invoice data you can also say that you have deployed the solution using aws lambda and hugging face pipeline api for scalability i am just giving example of some cloud platform like aws but you can explain the cloud platform which you have used even if you don't use the cloud platform directly then you can say that you are a cross functional team member where you have collaborate with some other team. and you have to highlight any novel approach or the contribution you have made to that field or to your team significantly let me give an another example design a customer tokenizer to handle multilingual data resources improving the accuracy by 20% so this number this quantifiable number will tell the impact which you have done or the contribution which and as i have said collaboration and leadership is a quality which the interviewer will check if you are an experienced candidate so you have to mention the collaboration with the cross functional team members example um, work closely with the product manager and the domain expertise to align the models output with the business requirement say for example you are working on a healthcare domain and you are developing some models then in that case you have to talk with different team members like you have to talk with external stakeholders you have to talk with some doctors and then you have to also talk with the internal team members you have to also talk with the uh, cloud team members you have to talk with the data annotators and many other team members and you have to be a cross functional team member where you have to talk with different 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 types of people and this will give you an interview your idea about the kind of collaboration which you have and the kind of leadership you had because for successfully developing the project end to end building the solution and deploying it makes you a person where you have the leadership roles now obviously you have to mention the achievement all the or the achievable outcomes or measurable outcomes so in that case you can give an example like my model achieved 95% accuracy reducing the manual effort by 40% and scale to process 1 million documents for language translation so all these numbers are quantifiable and by which you can give some measurable outcomes whenever you are doing a project of it is obvious that you will face some challenge and then you have overcome it so you can discuss the challenges which you have faced during say deployment or during fine tuning or any part of your project you can explain like this handling out of distribution data was a challenge and we mitigated this by integrating active learning for continuous improvement i hope these strategies and tips will help you to prepare yourself well for this question 
I have mentioned what are the kind of things which you can mention point wise if you are a fresher candidate or if you are an, an experienced candidate then what are the points you can mention to our interviewers so always give your answers in bullet points you are not giving the answer in bullet points but you are mentally you are preparing the answers in bullet points and you are mentioning that things so say for example the goal the problem statement what you have faced and always give examples to each and every bullet point so it will be very much clear to the interviewer and it will be helpful for the interviewer to gauge yourself i hope you like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video with all of your friends who are preparing themselves for generative ai role nowadays for generative ai role you will get high package and if you want to land in your dream companies then i am sure that this kind of questions will help you and prepare yourself in a good way generative ai is a blooming topic and you have to continuously learn to this topic you can do a hard work you can do a smart work to land to your dream company i will be creating more such videos regarding the questions interviewer ask and what kind of answers you can give stay tuned till then see you soon in my next video